Okay, here's the deal, guys. This is what you're going to need to get in order to refill this and or do the oil transmission service on this transmission. It's called a Benz 9G Tronic Transmission Oil Adapter Set. And you have the instructions here, actually. Oil pan position, that's the drain plug here that you take out, which we already did. You need to have this filling uh, oil adapter, which is the one here. And then you have this little pipe here, draining multi-function key and drain plug um, wrench, whatever this thing is. So what we need to do is we're going to need to use actually um, a couple of things. We're going to need to we're going to need to use this one when we fill the oil back in. I don't think we need to use this. And we need to use this crazy thing because we need to put it inside and twist it to position two here so basically it's gonna go in like this and we're gonna twist it to position two you can actually open this drain plug with this thing well not really because it's gonna break okay so you need to just get it inside after you remove this with the eight millimeter allen and be careful because once you twist it this oil it's gonna start leaking a lot and i think it has about four or five liters or quarts and what you need to get in you need to go inside the hole here and let me see which side this thing used to go okay it just fit it on it fits only one side because of this tooth here on little tooth on the side that's the tooth that's going to help you to twist this thing and here we go once you twist it you will start um, draining the transmission fluid out and i think this is position three but you get the point anything from two three to four is it lets the oil out and this is the oil it doesn't actually look really good even though it's kind of clear here um this fluid whoo yeah it's nasty this thirty thousand dollar i mean thirty thousand mile transmission fluid and again, it does not look good. It's dark. Doesn't have any metals or anything like that. It doesn't seem doesn't seem like. But it is dark. It's time to be changed. Thirty thousand miles. The recommendation on these is is forty thousand miles, I believe. But the customer wants to keep this this truck in good shape, so he's doing it a little bit early at thirty thousand miles. So when you let this, once you let this thing out, the next step would be to remove the oil pan because we have the new one ready. But I'll show you what happens because we need to transfer this adapter here that sits in the old transmission pan into this new one. And I'll show you once I get it out. These are the filters right here. That's why you must replace this every time you do this transmission service. Okay, I'm gonna let this out and I'll be back in a minute when it stops. So we're still draining this just to show you what the instructions from Mercedes are. Uh, this is the draining and filling pr procedure. Position one is pour in oil and then position two is drain small quantities. But if you open to three and four, you're gonna drain more so that's what you need to remember one is filling two three four is draining and I will show you the adapter when I get the oil pan out to, to see um, you're gonna realize how this works and that's those instructions from Mercedes and a program that we use on this specific truck 2020 Mercedes-Benz GOE 350 the 
167 um, model and it's it's already stopping so the next thing would be I'm going to twist this back to um, position one and I'll take out this adapter because um, it will have a little bit of oil because it's on an incline to the left and I'm gonna leave this adapter here on the side here and what we're going to do is we need to remove the solar pan in order to remove it we need to take these uh, inverted torques or torque heads and they are actually inverted uh, torques um, 10 right here and it's 10 right here but um, there's a little is you're gonna have a little bit of an issue removing these two in the back so I would start with those two in the back so you don't have to remove this brace and I'll show you a little trick um, I've discovered that you can actually use um, let me see I think it was eight millimeter normal yep you can actually use a normal eight millimeter socket right here to remove these and to actually get them tight um, this remember this plastic is not going to be too tight anyway so I'm going to try with with an eight millimeter to remove the ones in the back which are the hardest and then we go um, towards the front right here this one you need to remove also uh, because uh, there is a bracket here that you need to kind of put on the side or even take out in some cases so let me try to get to these first in the back okay guys this is only one bolt there that's hidden right here so what you're gonna have to do is you're going to need to use this eight millimeter small socket with a ratchet in order to reach it and to remove it because there's no other way around this uh, otherwise you have to remove this this bracket here I don't want to deal with this so all you do is just get it here and it's not really tight as you can see it'll start moving out okay once you get it loose you need to use your hand um, to actually get the bolt out because there's no space at all uh, to work with this and here's how you take it out you just keep loosening with, with your fingers and okay it looks like it's loose and you just leave it there and then now we have to go here to the front metal bracket that we need to take this first okay now you can actually start with the in inverted 10 torques and remove this one first because you have a bracket here um, that you just need to pull out out of the way um, just right here because this this bracket holds the cable uh, for the transmission and these bolts actually are going to stay on the pan so I'm gonna remove these first on the back here okay this these are coming out I don't know why the rear is the rear stays inside in the pan maybe it hasn't been removed let me see um, yeah it just keeps spinning um, hmm. yeah this one is there um, maybe it's made to stay in the transmission the one the, the one in that uh, hard spot but here's this one and I'm gonna keep going here on 
here. Okay, this one. Next one. And just be ready because the you still have oil in this pan, it's gonna leak out. Okay, here we go. And the next one. Okay, one more here. And then you can remove the one in the back, actually. It's in a tight place. So the ones in the back, uh, I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a adapter, an adapter to get to them, to remove them. So, okay, I'm actually gonna use uh, another trick. I'm gonna use the short eight millimeter to get to these rear bolts and I'm gonna open them a little bit, not uh, all the way, because I need to open this transmission um, slowly, uh, again, because it has still oil inside and it's gonna leak a lot. As you can see, it's already starting to leak. There we go. So, we're about to make a mess. Here we go. Um, Just be careful when you do that and keep in mind that it will start leaking. Remember this pan is ready to go from the front so you can open it a little bit here to let it leak and then you can reach the uh, rear um, driver side bolt to open and there we go Here's the bolt on the driver's side. The only bolt we have left is this one on this side. Um, I can try to move this a little bit more. Okay, it's ready to go. Here we go. So, uh, I'm gonna remove the bolt now. And the bolt is out, transmission pan is ready to go. As you can see, it also has oil. So when you get it, well, it's getting stuck on the actual bolt that we didn't get out. So we need to get that bolt out, the one in the back, the hidden one. So let me actually try to drain this oil pan a little bit more. Yeah, this is a mess. I'm gonna be covered with oil. Uh, that's the way it is. I'm gonna drain a little bit more. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back in because I need to get the one, the bolt in the back. I don't know why it's not releasing. I try to get it, uh, try to get it loose, but it's not releasing. So let me get this back, this oil pan back in. And I'm just gonna install bolts temporarily. There we go. And I'm gonna try to release this bolt in the back by hand. Okay, here we go. It just needed to be released. Yeah, so don't stop like I stopped. Just keep going until you get it out. These bolts, are, they need to come out, all of them. And once you get this out, the oil pan is ready to come out. Again, it's gonna leak more. So make sure you get it out from the front. And here we go. Just let it drain. And I will show you what we need to do in order to install the new one. So once you remove this pan, let it drain here. Um, Remember, it's going to have more oil into the filter, so you need to take it out with you and set it on the side. And you're going to see that you need to move two things. So set it in the same direction your um, new pan is. And basically, you need to remove a couple things. It's these two um, pipes or whatever you want to call them. So one pipe is, um, they go like this, they get, they slide like this, and it's, you need to get it, you need to get this one out. Um, if you just press it on the side, kind of, and try to pull it, um, they will come out. Here we go. Um, I just kind of, twisted one side and did the other one and then kind of um, pushed it in the direction of this direction toward the inside of it the inside of the pan and this is the way it goes this little thing right here this little tooth actually locks into this um, tooth here and again um, you can actually slide it like this um, they will go only one direction anyway and you need to you need to hear this thing click and there we go this is how it sits make sure this thing clicks and the second one most important one is this thing here that is for refilling the transmission and pouring the oil out uh, what I'm gonna do is you need to actually on this new oil pan you need to remove the the new plug in order to to do the to install the adapter and you just twist it around you get it out and you set it on the side and then you get this thing here and this is how it looks when it's open and we need to transfer this little thing here um, this this whole system of an adapter that works when you spin this when you spin this and you open this is how it works that when you spin this you open different holes to actually drain the um, uh, to drain the oil out of the transmission so you have to open these these um, things right here um, in order to remove this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a flat screwdriver to um, to 
put him right here two flat screwdrivers in order to remove this out be careful not to break these uh, the actual system here you don't need to be worried about these because um, you already have the new one so again we're gonna get a fluid flat screwdriver and here we go a small one and we gotta get in we need to get in here and just open this and the okay this is one is lifted and we need to lift the next one Okay, one came out, I believe we can, we can open this, um, the first one again, and just kind of push this, this thing out. Once you once you release it from the teeth, you need to watch for this one here that needs to be lifted and just slowly, I believe you can actually pull it now, here we go, it's ready to go. Uh, this is a pretty rigid plastic, it's not going to break that easy, uh, if you break these, again that's not a problem. What is important is this adapter that you need. So here we go. Now we need to install it. It goes the same way it came out. And all you need to do is just push it down to go through the side uh, um, locks. And you need to push, press it hard and you, you heard the clicks. And this thing is ready to go. So it's installed. And remember, no, no silicone on this pan. It's ready to go. The seal is here. Just make sure uh, that the seal is in place because one side here was a little bit out. And now we're going to install it on the car. Okay, before you install, you can actually use a little bit of a brake cleaner to kind of just clean a little bit the corners and it should be okay and the new the new pan is ready to go so um, actually one more thing use a little bit of oil and uh, put it around these uh, seals on the filters just right here so they go in um, easily and now it's ready to go um, prepare yourself with a couple of bolts and I'm gonna install the I'm gonna install the bolts on the I'm gonna install a couple bolts on the sides first and here we go the I need to okay they need to start uh, come on come on okay this one is you just need to start a couple bolts and you don't need to get them tight. I'm gonna start one on the side.
Okay. fit one in one place and I'm not gonna tie it the bolt I'm just gonna install one I'm gonna install this one and I'm gonna stop here because we need to install that Okay, I'm just gonna keep installing these. Until I get to the hard one in the back. Remember, that one, that one we're gonna have to do by hand. Okay, this one is good. Now, it's this one here. Okay, now it's this one here in the front, no, nope. okay, I got one more here. Okay, when you tie these, um, these bolts are aluminum actually, so you need to be careful with them. But the insert on the plastic is metal, so once it stops, this, this should be good to go. Don't over tie these. Um, they don't need to be extremely tight because you're risking of breaking these bolts. And now I need to install the last one in the back again by hand and then you need to use the little ratchet to tie it and when it stops that's it um, normally you should be able to use a torque uh, wrench um, but in this case I'm not gonna use one because I don't have the time and second of all you should be safe enough when you when you get close uh, to to these being tight uh, to stop because I'm sure that this probably doesn't take from Mercedes it doesn't really take more than uh, probably 10 Newton meters um, 10 to 15 10 to 15 this is this is how you do it by hand and as you can see um, these are actually already tight no more than this and I just need to um, get on this side and do the manual do the one in the back okay the oil pan is back in place and now what we need to do is we need to pour the new oil in remember this tool you need to we need to turn the adapter inside to position one uh, I don't remember which position I left it in so I need to find where this thing is um, I actually believe we are in position one yeah so when I twisted this is position four uh, and all the way clockwise is position one so technically again check and check and we're ready in one and actually I forgot one last bolt here uh, sorry about that and we need to install this bolt it's the one holding it's the one holding the bracket the metal bracket there and this bracket goes on the top make sure it slides through here 
there's a little metal slider that you will see. And once it slides, you need to push it up. it up and you'll see that this thing will fit straight into the hole of this of the mounting uh, metal piece the metal mount and then you just get it tight and that's it This is it. This is to keep safe the plug and the wiring going to the transmission from the computer. So here we go. This is done already. And now we need to start refilling. And the one we're gonna refill, or the way we're going to refill is remember the special adapter. This is the adapter that you need to install in order to refill. Okay, I'm using a 24 millimeter socket to install this. And you need to see inside. I'm just only using it to twist it and once it's twisted you stop here uh, it doesn't have a thread it just has the it has the two teeth that walk in um, so be careful not to break it or get it too tight so because you, you'll break the pan or you'll break the adapter once you do that the next step is to actually um, I need to put another adapter where I can start my machine and in order to show you how bad this oil is right here this is this oil has only 30,000 miles but look at the look at the pearls moving around so this oil is actually in pretty bad shape so 30,000 miles it's not even 40,000 usually I change them at 40,000 this is a 30 and the oil is in really bad shape so according to Mercedes what we need to do in order to refill is we need to use four and a half um, liters so the oil that I've gotten for this transmission is full synthetic. It's called Vico, and it's German transmission oil. It's very specific for this 9G transmission, and that's what I'm going to use, made in Germany. And I'm going to use, I bought five bottles, so I'm going to use all of them to pre-charge the system. And then we are going to start the engine and check the level. As I said... You install the adapter and then I need to install a second adapter because that adapter I need to um, attach my electrical pump and there we go we'll attach it here actually before I attach it I need to run a little bit of oil through the system that's why you're supposed to buy one extra bottle uh, to clean the system out of the old oil so in my case we have some red oil here that we used on actually on the transfer case and now what I'm gonna run is a little bit of this oil Okay, I'm going to run and clean the system out of the 
old oil and there we go now we're gonna connect it and install the new oil so long story short you need to charge the system with four and a half or in my case i have five bottles so five um five of these again five bottles in order to pre-fill and then we're gonna start the engine okay we installed five liters or five bottles so the next step to in order to check the level of this transmission fluid is you need to get in the car you need to start it and you need to do several times a procedure where you go from parking to reverse to neutral to drive and each time you hold about three seconds in each gear and then you can do this about two or three times and then you go into park and you leave the car running and then we're gonna come and you the temperature on the fluid you need to get up to 40 degrees celsius and i believe that's about um it's about 90 to 100 degrees fahrenheit and once it gets to that temperature then you can actually uh we can remove this uh, connector here and see um, if it's leaking uh, and the actual transmission that that the adapter inside will actually show you where the level is well not show but actually it'll let the extra transmission fluid out at that temperature so i'm going to start the car and once i do the procedure with the gears i'm going to come down here and wait a little bit so this thing gets warm enough so we can check the fluid level so we got the transmission warmed up enough i did the procedure through the gear several times and i checked the left the actual amount of oil that came out of the car it's actually five liters or so close to five quarts and now we can check and see if it needs a little bit more or not. And the way you do it, you open this, and as we can see, it's actually right on the spot. It's actually five, five bottles, exactly what came out. This is what the level is telling us. So this thing is ready to go, and now. We need to close this and take the adapter out. Okay, we remove the adapter and The next step is closing the cap, the new cap. Again, it only goes in one specific place, and then you twist it around, and this is the way it goes. This is where you use the arrows right here. That's the arrow right here in this direction towards you. And then it twists it. And once it stops, once it stops into this tip right here, that's it. Don't force it or anything else, or you will break it. Remember, all this is plastic. And this concludes the service on this transmission.
And remember the last thing you need to install is these covers and of course clean after yourself with brake cleaner and install the covers and that's the whole procedure on these fluids on this 2020 Mercedes GA350 Formatic. Again, thanks for watching. Please like my videos and please subscribe. Thank you.